Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everybody and welcome to my resume again about traditional reading class in unit 16 about kinds of reading. So let's start this. Ah. This is my lecture, Mr. Alphon. And this is my name, Fitran Barrozi, and this is my number. Okay, let's start about unit unit 16, read about reading. Okay, before we start that, we know that reading is a, a kind of activity that look at and comprehend meaning of the text, written or printed matter by mentally interpreting the characters or symbols of words of which it's composed by the writer or structured by the writer. And then, so what about reading? So reading is the action or skill of reading that written or printed matter silently or aloud. So if you are read something, you may, read it aloud so people can know that you are reading something. Then the next is kinds of reading. All right, kinds of reading. So kinds of reading are separated by four kinds, actually four kinds. And it's, and they are depends on people's reading ability. And the first is recreation, recreational reading. Okay, recreational reading is about reading something or some facts, but you can read it in your free time, anytime. It depends on your time. Uh, it's free if you want to read or not. And then study type reading. Study type reading is you can focus to pay more attention in your reading attacks. And then uh, you can do that once at a time and keep your mind focused into your text. And then the third is survey reading. Survey reading, it's all about, uh, for example, there's a text, you read all the text, but you, uh, you choose the main idea and you find it the important message of the text and the or the important sentences. And then the last is shifting among kinds of reading. So shifting among kinds of reading is about uh, you mix all about all kinds of reading. So from regressional reading, study type reading, survey reading, and you can combine these three kinds of reading and. That's shifting among kinds of reading skills. Okay, the last topic is the importance of reading comprehension. And the main goal of reading comprehension is to have some kind of understanding of writer is trying to say and make use of the information. For example, you make use of the information for uh, facts or data, or something else like that. And you understand that, you understand the information and you find the message what writers want to say to the reader. Okay, that's all of my wisdom. And thank you for your attention. And I will see you next time. Thank you.